Hey, what's up guys and welcome on in. Right here we got this special presentation case that arrived in from Umbro, the Double Diamond. It features the Speciali Eterno, their latest boot release. They've decided to reinvigorate the Speciali range and have created this boot that's back as a mainstay release on the market. It will be available in the US in some stores. So I figured it'd be a good opportunity to show you an unboxing and let you see what the boots have on offer, especially compared to some other similar releases that are currently on the market. First thing to do with this box is open up the label. So it's got this blue outer label, which I can peel back. Then the box itself has some magnets on it. So the bottom left right here you can see is a magnet that links up with this top one. And that's what keeps the box open and closed. And inside it has this pretty cool boot bag that features the boots inside. Let's check out this boot bag. It has Speciali Eternal stitched in. It's a mesh material. And on the opposite side it has a handle, so it's going to be ideal for carrying your boots around. Open it up, it has two zippers. And inside is the boots. First thing to note is Umbro have created or included this pretty cool wrapping paper and it's something they do at most releases. It features these old school style jerseys and balls and it adds a little bit of an extra touch to the release. You're not just getting a standard paper insert. There's something different about this one. Also to note inside the bag there is an additional zipper that you can add some extra storage. And then we have the boots themselves. As you'd expect, extra classy features that black and white design, some gold detailing through, um, for example, the speciality text that's on the tongue. And then along the heel, it has this layer of blue, just to add something a little bit different. It's definitely a heritage release, as you would expect. Designed for durability and most of all comfort. It's one of the, the focuses of the release. Something that you'd expect. The upper is a leather, has a nice feel to it. And it's got that double layer stitching that creates a little, little extra definition. Ideal for touching control on the ball. You know, you get a little bit extra spring back, which is nice. Double diamond logo on the side, emphasizing it is a number of release. Stitched on heel counter, add some extra support, it's pretty rigid. Along the heel, the actual cut itself is pretty standard, but then they've, they've dipped the Achilles region, so it reduces any or reduce the amount of pressure that you'll feel in your Achilles. Personally, I like that. I like having a little bit of extra um, cut there. So it doesn't put any pressure on. In terms of the lacing is pretty standard, except we have the A-frame cradle in place also on this boot. So you can see how it layers up and back down through the diamond. And it comes in through that top lace eyelet. And again, that's to add some extra support through that region. The tongue is an interesting one. On release, Umbro stated that they had some sort of... Um, way that the, the tongue stayed folded down, some sort of a, a closure. We haven't found anything, or I haven't found anything on this boot. I have noticed that it has a double layer stitching, so it has a little bit of extra spring back, which will probably keep it down in place. But I'm not sure what they were referencing when they said I had something to, to keep it down in place. As you expect, a very classy style design with that tongue and into that black opera. Inside the boots, there's a little bit of extra texture along the heel lining. So you can kind of see here how it's kind of dimple style. And that's going to grab your sock a little bit more, which is nice. Underneath the tongue, there is a, uh, is a mesh style material, fabric. And then one other thing with inside the boot is the insole, which is a nice insole. It's, it's definitely padded. It's going to be uh, offer some extra comfort 
Um, by removing this hose, they've obviously lowered the, the weight, but it also adds a little bit of extra spring, a little bit of bounce as you run in it. So that's worth noting. Last, let's flip them over and we'll look at this very unique sole plate. They've added this wishbone through the uh, midfoot to add some extra support. There is a little bit of spring in the boot itself, but it is more towards the front of the boot. So you can see how this midfoot region doesn't really bend too much. It's going to take a wear or two to get these um, in line with your foot and your foot movement. So it's worth noting you're going to have to wear these a few times before they're really broken in. Love the stud configuration. I'm all about low profile conical primarily because it transitions so well between AG and FG surfaces. Something that a lot of us have to do these days. So I would definitely put these on the recommended list if you want to switch between both surfaces. And you can see how they're pretty low profile as well. Very, very cool release. As I said, Umbro said that they probably won't be available online, but they'll be available in stores. When we find out the stores, uh, we'll update that, along with the review that we'll be posting on the website pretty soon. Some other boots I want to bring in real quick. Over here I have the Adidas Gloro and the Nike Premier. And I just wanted to compare them. Um, you know, we have this resurgence of old school, old school classic releases coming on the market. And the um, Umbro Speciali Eternal is going to join this collection. It's similar in the upper to the Adidas Gloro. You can see how the stitching is very similar. They both have that definition with that cross layered stitching. But they're very different in the sole plate. And the Adidas has gone with a comfort outsole. And these have been worn, by the way. That's why they're so dirty just to note. Uh, but if you bring in the Nike Premier, the upper is obviously different than the way they're stitched. But the sole plate is very similar. So it's kind of a cross between both releases. Um, and an interesting take from Umbro. It's really cool to have Umbro back on the, the market with a release like this. The last thing for you guys to do is choose which pair you cho you like to wear best. Hit up the comment section down below and let us know if you've got a preference between these three boots and why that particular boot is your favorite. Appreciate if you give us a thumbs up on this video. Make sure you subscribe to Sock Cleats 101. And stay tuned for more video unboxings just like this. Until next time guys, thanks for tuning in and watching.